Hi, this is Nitin Kumar with my brief video of my Samsung Galaxy S3 which I purchased the day before yesterday in Dubai for 2499. I've been playing around with it for two days. Now I'm just going to show the boot up. There you go, Samsung Galaxy S3. It was told it's going to be launched on May 31st, but I don't know, it came out in Dubai one week earlier. And I got it. You can see the blue indication light, blue notification light. Okay. Just a brief overview of this phone. Well, it loads. Okay, I've already set it up. You can see my name. Nitin Kumar, Akka, Akinets. This is a completely customizable home screen. This is a Sony Ericsson live wallpaper. Okay, now I'm just unlocking my phone. There. That's the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can see the wallpaper, awesome wallpaper. I don't understand why can't Samsung run something like this. I really love this wallpaper. Okay, and this is the uh, four rows below with icons, phone, contacts, messaging, internet, and that's the app menu. This is what Samsung calls the nature touchways. I don't know what the meaning of that. All it reminds me is of Sony Ericsson launcher. It's exactly like Sony Ericsson, like the transition. Steady transition was bought up by Sony. I don't know why Samsung copied it. Anyway, it looks much better than the previous touchways. And you can see the way it pops up and it pops down. Clear copy of that. Okay. Okay, this is my phone. It's a 4.8 inch phone. It's slim. 8.6 millimeter slim. It's got an 8 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash and speaker on the top. It's fully flat, unlike the Galaxy S2 which I have, which has a hump, fully flat. The color which I chose is a marble white color, because I don't want any scratches to be seen. Here's a 1.9 megapixel camera on the front. The, this is a speaker, very nice speaker, and the proximity sensor. And here there's an LED light. It's very difficult to see. When you're charging, you can see it better. And yeah, and the home button physical home button or the multitasking key and here there's a back button and here this is like a menu button mm -hmm. this is just a brief overview you can see this phone very very fast I'm recording this for my Samsung Galaxy S2 running the ICS hydrogen ROM have to do a review of it before I change to my UI ROM it came with only two pages of apps but now I've downloaded a lot of apps, so it's now up to four pages. The two things which I hate about this phone, which I hated from the first Galaxy S to the second Galaxy S2, and this one. One, this phone will not rotate. The home screen will not rotate when you put in landscape mode. Where each and every launch in the market can do it. Why can't Samsung, who's focusing so much on hardware and software, do it? See? just hate it absolutely hate it and second if you click on the menu button non, it is not in spelling order why can't Samsung just launch these two basic things none of them are in spelling I can never understand Samsung for this and as you know this is the widgets this is the pre-installed widgets I haven't installed anything more keeps on going keeps on going unlike I say when in the last it comes and you know the sh it shows a shape that it's not coming up okay that's it about the phone yeah it's a quad core processor 1.4 gigahertz where you can overclock uh, i think so you can underclock it for better battery performance it's got a humongous battery 2100 milliamp battery it takes a micro sim it's the cover same slim as the samsung lcs s2 but feels much better quality so it feels a bit slippery they call it hyperglass i don't know what it does it mean okay this is a micro sd card slot it takes up to 64 gb this is a micro sim card slot and this is a battery 2100 milliampere battery this is a trend now everyone's taping apple that they are giving non removable battery and non expandable memory never understood the concept of it yeah this is a 16 gb version and it can take up to 64 GB card plus you get 2 years Dropbox support of up to 50 GB so in the total you how much let me see in total you get about 
I don't know. My phone will get up to 130 GB. Wow. 130 GB. I think I've removed one thing by mistake, so I have to just put it back. Where's my phone gone? My phone icon is missing. I have to put it back on this, on the, on the dock. Here it goes, and drag and drop it here. Okay. It's a quad core processor. It, uh, it's a 720p screen, giving a PPI of around 306 PPI, which is a Retina display according to Apple for the iPhone 300 anything about 300 ppi is a retina display though my iPad the 3 has a display of 262 and they think this is also a retina display I want to set up it anyhow let's have a thing this is just a brief overview of my phone and now I'm going to do a testing of the S1 